Welcome to Mango Pro. Today I'll be talking about how to add spot UV to your artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so we have our two page business card artwork here, the front and back, two art boards, the black line of the art board edge defining where the card cuts and the three millimeters past it defining your bleed area as uh, explained in the previous video. So on this particular job, we want the MP logo to be in spot UV gloss. So to do that, we would control C to copy or Apple C if you're on a Mac, hit the plus key, create a new layer called spot UV. Then turn off the artwork layer and uh, paste in place. Make sure it's paste in place so that it doesn't move when pasted. If you just do a random paste, it probably will move into a different position and won't line up. Right, so now that we've done that, we need to turn this into the color black. Black is used to define the spot UV areas. It doesn't actually print in black, it will be printed in the clear UV, but it's just the industry standard on how to define. So now that we've created the spot UV layer, we would save it as a PDF, going file, save a copy, Adobe PDF, spot UV overlay, click save, we then go press quality, marks and bleeds, add your trim marks, and if you did have bleed on your spot UV layer, then you would add three millimeters to the top, bottom left and right. Okay, click save. You would now turn off that layer and turn back on your artwork layer and save a separate PDF for your artwork. So again, file, save a copy. Artwork only. Select Adobe PDF, save. Press quality. And again, under marks and bleeds, you would turn on your trim marks and enter the three millimeters bleed for the top, bottom, left and right, which would pick up this defined bleed area on your artboard, as you can see on, under the mouse. Okay, and click save. As a little trick to make sure the MP does line up for the Spot UV channel, you can just toggle that layer on and off. Okay, so I've got the two PDFs I've just created here. On the left, you've got the Spot UV Overlay PDF, and on the right, the Artwork Only PDF. So you just want to make sure on the Spot UV PDF that you've got a, an artboard for both sides. So page one being your MP overlay, and page two, although it doesn't have a UV overlay, it's still good to include a blank page in there, just so that when the print shop receives the file, they know that page two won't have a UV, otherwise they may put the job on hold until you, uh, you confirm. So yeah, page one UV, page two no UV, and here is the artwork, it'll be overlaid. Page one, the MP green and yellow, and then the non-UV side. This rule can be applied to any printed document really, whether it's a brochure cover, postcard or leaflet. So, so yeah, happy printing.